Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some more plays for you out of the West Coast playbook. This is I'm going about two weeks now where I've been making pretty much exclusively West Coast videos, uh, and I got at least one more. I, if you guys want to keep seeing these books, let me know in the comment section. If you want to see uh, regular playbooks, say you play CFM or you play um, you know regular game modes where you use custom playbooks or something, I know you can't necessarily find some of these plays. So let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see. But I'm personally using the West Coast playbook. I'll put a link in the description for a gameplay that I just put out. Uh, I was pretty. Exp I've been using some of these plays in those gameplays, and this is one of the best playbooks in the game. I mean, this playbook is all is definitely a cheat code. The, the formation that I'm using I actually had some specific requests from people that wanted plays out of the near, uh, and I'm going to be using the near close flex. So you know, this is a formation where it's probably a little bit better known for its run plays. It's got some really good inside runs in it. Uh, I'll put them in my audibles. I mean, the halfback dive is definitely going to be one of them. The halfback inside. And then the third one uh, would definitely be the 0-1 trap. Now, one of the most important things to know about this formation is you want to make sure that you have your, uh, you don't want to have a fullback in this position. You want to make sure, I mean, the Niners have a couple of good running backs. So I want to make sure that I have uh, running backs at both spots. So it really doesn't matter uh, what play I pick because like I said, these plays, they're all meant to work together. I mean, this, this, this is kind of like running a triple option when it comes to the fact that you can hand off to either running back so i personally find that the run plays in this formation they're all kind of basic they all kind of go in one direction um you're not going to get a ton of explosive runs like you would out of like a stretch or a toss play or something like that but these are really hard to stop run plays for a lot of people now i personally think that if you go with the halfback inside you definitely have the most blocking uh, you can see i mean i'm running in the direction of a tight end who's going to give me an extra blocker i have a fullback this is the one play you would, you would want to leave your actual fullback in the game if you know you're going to run this uh, and then you can also motion across one of these receivers to give yourself an even extra uh, blocking advantage. And a lot of times it's going to help to stretch this play out in the direction that the, the play is running to the extra blocking. But ultimately, like I said, I don't really think this is, you know, there's not a ton of explosive plays. Not like I'm going to show with some of the pass plays. And if it's a man defense, you're going to pull a extra defender across. So in a, in a situation like this, motioning a receiver across is going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be a mistake. It's not something you're going to want to do. So I don't really see a ton of opportunity here. Like I said, my go-to, my default run is definitely going to be the fullback dive. I can flip that uh, just by hitting, the, I mean, I'm going to have a little bit of a bigger hole if I flip that play right here. And then this will help me to get right up the middle. So like I said, this to me is definitely definitely the best run but there's definitely opportunities in some of these other runs and the fullback dive I mean the halfback does a pretty good job of getting to the next level so here we have uh, we got the safeties coming down they're probably coming on a blitz uh, so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna try to get a blocking advantage and try to take this outside as you can see I mean I almost had it I made one guy miss I probably would have had a touchdown so if they're blitzing heavy up the middle there I do feel like the halfback inside has an advantage I mean I really only had to make one guy miss and I would have been gone uh, but you can give yourself a lot of extra blocking and get to that next level if you go with the halfback inside. Now you can use either the post drag or the flanker drive. It really doesn't matter. But the flanker drive is a little bit better. I might show them both, but the flanker drive is a little bit better. So since I'm focusing on cover two, flanker drive is going to be the best of the two. So all I'm going to do to make this a really good cover two concept is put the A route on a streak. That's all I have to do. I wish that I could motion out Coleman to the right a little bit and kind of create a three wide receiver set, but I can't really do that. So I have to deal with it the way that it is, which is fine. But both sides of this play are cover two beaters, whether it's Kittle and Samuel or Sanders and Coleman, they're both going to have the same effect. They just pretty much have to diagnose and get the ball out as quick as possible. Because you can see, I mean, ultimately I'm, I'm right under the line of scrimmage, so I don't have a ton of time. I got to get rid of the ball as fast as I can. You know, that's the one thing about passing under center like this is you can leave yourself in a little bit of hot water, especially if you don't have a really mobile QB. But you can see, like I said, you have two routes that are really going to be explosive. Two routes are pulling coverage and two routes are, are making the play. The A route's pulling the coverage on the right side and the B route's pulling the coverage on the left side. You just have to basically wait until they till they clear. Like I said, I don't like how Garoppolo is really stepping into the... He's not dropping back. Like I said, you really want a mobile quarterback when you run something like this because you want to drop back further than I am. So if somebody's running a lot of cover twos, this is going to be a very successful play. Plus the fact 
that um, you can't really use her this. You know what I mean? Like both sides are having success as I accidentally run out of bounds. If your opponent's running a lot of cover twos and you're and you're beating them with this play, they can't make a user adjustment because they can just go to the other side. So that's one of the things I like about this play is you is you have something explosive on both sides of the field. So like I said, you could also use the post drag, but the post drag's actually a cover three concept. So we're gonna pick cover three. So this play here, you can see it pretty much has the exact same uh, cover two beater as far as the running back goes as the last play. But this is a little bit more flexible. So if you come to the line expecting a cover two and you get a cover three, there's a couple different things you can do to make this a cover three one play touchdown. You can motion across the A route, put them on a, a 10 yard out route or smart route, uh, and you're going to have a cover three one play touchdown. Now, if I put the RB route on a streak rather than what he's running, he'll help out a little bit more uh, when it comes to uh, pulling the safety across. But like I said, it's the exact same thing as a lot of cover three one play touchdowns, it's like a hit on the throw. Because uh, like I said, I'm under center, so I have to worry about that but you can see it's a cover three one play touchdown so i definitely like the first play better but you see that this this play has some flexibility where it can hit a home run against a cover two or a cover three and the last play i'm going to show today is going to be the texas now this is going to be a cover three one play touchdown so i'm going to pick a matching cover three look so all you really have to do for this play motion out your running back uh that's going to move the safety in the middle of the field that's pretty much the main reason for that Put him on a streak, put the X route on a streak, and then put the A route on a streak. That's pretty much all you have to do there. Then you want to put the B route on an out route and then smart route them. And that's pretty much all you're going to have to do um, to make this a one play uh, right over the top. Now right there, pressure got my face a little bit sooner than I wanted it to. But you can see how the two streaks pull the safety to the left, which is all I really need. So you're going to go to the replay um, because ultimately, I mean, this there's, there's a pretty decent route that this guy's running. But if I want to pull that cornerback down faster, the out route's definitely the way to go. Uh, in this scenario, I probably could have really threw to either side. Uh, but you can see, because of this streak, uh, it, it takes away the tight end. So I'm pretty much just shooting for this guy right here. And the second that cornerback stops there, it's pretty much game over. I can just bullet and pass lead outside. And that's pretty much going to be uh, the main cog to this play working. As you can see, I mean, it pretty much just goes right through the gap. So I'm going to do that one more time. Like I said, moving that safety over is vital. And then, like I said, putting this guy on an out route and then smart routing at 10 yards is going to be key. And like I said, I really don't have to wait too long. You can see, I mean, I don't have my fastest guy there. I could easily have, like, Marquise Goodwin there. Um, you know, I have a, a decent speed player. But you can see how easily that breaks over the top. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more West Coast, let me know in the comment section or whatever playbook you guys want to see, uh, whatever alternate book. I'm still working on some run and gun, run and shoot, stuff like that. I've had people request, uh, and I'll put that out pretty soon as well. But if you want to see that, let me know in the comment section with the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.